Hey guys, Color Out Camper Man Brian here. So in today's video, we're talking all about solar. Ever since I installed our 200 watt system on our camper in the fall of 2020, I've had quite a few guys say, hey Brian, is 200 watts of solar really enough for your camper? So in today's video, I'm gonna answer that. I'll put a link to the installation video, so if you are looking to install your own system, I'll put a link to the video on how I installed our system. So our system is HQST. I bought the kit on Amazon. It was about $220. And with that, we got two 100 watt uh, monocrystalline panels with the brackets and the mounting hardware, as well as the wires to feed down to the charge controller. And then we got a 20 amp charge controller with that. Uh, really the only thing I had to buy was Dicor and then I bought a couple of inline fuses as well. The other aspect of our solar setup is our giant 200 amp hour Renogy deep cycle gel battery. Now we bought this directly from Renogy. I'll put a link to where we bought that as well as a code that you can use to save on your purchase. But that battery is amazing and that is a huge part of our solar system. The short answer to is 200 watts of uh, solar enough? Uh, the short answer is yes, it definitely is, at least for us. So let's talk about why I think that's enough and why or how that works out for us. Uh, first off, our usage is pretty low. Uh, we primarily use in our camper our radio, Obviously our lights, when it's cold out, we use our furnace. We'll charge up our cell phones or GoPros, uh, things of that nature. So all of our low level stuff, really they all run on 12 volt. They just run on our battery. Um, we do have a generator which will operate our higher appliance stuff, like say our air conditioner or our microwave. Uh, our refrigerator we just do on propane so we don't do that on solar or our generator but why it's enough is because we use low wattage devices uh, on our battery all the higher appliance stuff like I talked about with the AC and the microwave we have a generator and in my opinion if you're gonna have any type of solar setup um, you should have an alternate source of energy you gotta have a generator we have a 3,500 watt um, Predator. It's an inverter generator, so it's a quiet one, and that thing works out great for sure. So another reason why our setup is good enough too is because we also have these little battery packs with us. Now, we don't use these all the time, but these are great little additions, and you can plug your phones into this. You can get quite a few charges, and again, these are very good to have, like, say, if it is a cloudy day out and you don't want to run the generator these you can use to charge your phone GoPro whatever and they work out great so a couple other factors in this question you know is 200 watts of solar enough um, yes it is if you're getting sunlight you know if it's a cloudy day out you're not really gonna be able to do too much and you're gonna to have to rely on your battery which is another huge factor um, you have to have a pretty decent size uh, battery that's meant just for solar and that has a, a large amp hour storage um, in order to have a really good solar setup and then obviously it is going to depend on your usage for us this works out perfect because we don't run a lot of heavy appliances and we have our generator when we need to run the higher appliance stuff um, if we didn't need to run our AC or our microwave Frankly, we would have no use for a generator, and in my opinion, we wouldn't really even need one. So some of you guys might be wondering, well, what exactly did you do on your trip, and how do you use your, your 200 watts? For our trip, again, during the daytime, we can pretty much do whatever we want. Uh, for example, we could have our tank heater pads on. Uh, we could have those on while charging our cell phones and listening to music on a radio, and we would be fine. We would not be discharging our battery at nighttime, you know, we're taking our son uh, takes a bath, so we're running our, our water pump. We have lights on. Uh, it got down to 23 degrees on this trip, so our furnace was kicking on. Um, and then we had a baby monitor. So we had some pretty heavy usage 
on our system. And our battery, when we uh, first started doing all this stuff, is at 13.8 volts. And uh, in the morning time, we were down to 12.4 volts. We still had plenty of energy, um, and that was after very heavy usage. What's awesome about even just 200 watts, we went from 12.4 volts uh, in the morning time, and then probably three hours later, we were back up to 13.8 volts on our battery. So one thing that's really great that you can do if you're wondering if 200 watts is gonna be enough for you is go to Renegy's site. And this is not sponsored or anything, but they have a great calculator where you can plug in what your estimated usage is and how many hours of sunlight you get. And you can figure out the size system that will be good for you. So that'll be for your solar uh, that you'll put on your, on your camper as well as your battery bank. So overall guys, I would definitely say 200 watts of solar is more than likely going to be enough for you. If you're looking to be able to run your lights at night and your water pump and be able to charge your phone, maybe run your laptop if you need to do some work, you know, in my opinion, I think 200 watts of solar is definitely plenty. Kind of with the caveat that you need to have a decent battery like we have in order for that 200 watt system to be enough. One other example, my in-laws I installed 200 watts of solar on their camper before I did on our camper with another Renogy AGM 200 amp hour battery. And once I saw how great their system was, I was like, okay, 200 watts is definitely gonna be good enough on our camper. They actually rarely ever use the generator because we share a generator and they, they don't really ever use a generator. They have no use for a generator. They were here this entire weekend and they did not touch the generator at all and they were 100% fine with with running everything and their battery never probably dipped below I think it was 12.7 was the lowest that I saw it so if you're wondering is 200 watts of solar enough for your camper I hope this answered that question for you again I'll put a link to the installation video on how to install this and Amazon links in the description below where you can find our setup so thank you guys for watching. Give her a thumbs up if you liked it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.